So for today, we're going to be looking at Curious of the Fallen Star. If you guys don't know, we are bringing back the exotic videos. So if you guys are interested in an exotic video, let me know which one you are interested in. I'll hopefully get started on it, but also make sure that I, have, I haven't already done it. I mean, you can still ask and I'll just forward you the video that I've already made if I've already made it. But I would appreciate if you guys had looked it up first because I've done quite a bit of these, these exotic videos. So for this one, we're going to be looking at Curious of the Falling Star and its two ornaments that it has and how it shaders, how it looks, and all that stuff as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really appreciate it. Other than that, Curious of the Fallen Star, let's talk about it. So Glorious Charge is what it, the exotic perk is called. Greatly increases your Thunder Crash impact damage, gain an overshield that lasts longer the further you travel before striking the target. I don't really have to talk about this one. Everyone and their mom uses this, this one. You basically get a bunch of damage with Thunder Crash when you put this on. Uh, I've also seen people use this in PvP when uh, they want an overshield, which is valid considering, again, the longer you travel, uh, an overshield that lasts longer, the further you travel. So that is really, really good. I've seen people just completely uh, turn their, their super on from halfway the map and not even think about killing anyone just to get that overshield. I mean, that's up to you. I'd rather get some kills, but again, it's up to you. As for how it looks, I think this is probably one of the best looking exotics for me personally, just because uh, it looks really cool. I love a lot of the design in this. I also love the engraving. I think it looks really, really cool. And I really can't bitch about this exotic because it, I think it has all the good things. I, I think aesthetically it looks cool. Obviously, that's my opinion, but I do think it looks really, really cool. I do know a lot of people have quite a bit of issues like make, mix, mix and matching this with other stuff, but I personally don't. That being said, I do have like two looks that I have for this that I usually use. And one of them is the Mongolian set that I will be showcasing. So as for our shaders, I think it shaders really well. Ancient Wisdom looks really, really cool with it. Uh, I like the engravings. It pops out quite a bit with this shader. I also like Echo to Anger as well. I do. I am noticing though that the engravings, the feathers, I think that's you can't change the color of that if i'm if i'm looking at it correctly at least from what i'm showcasing right now it looks like it yeah it doesn't change color even with abyssinian gold it still pertains that white which on the one hand this is my first time noticing this and i use this exotic quite a bit that being said i don't think it bugs me that much just because again like i said i just barely noticed it now and with certain shaders like krypton insignia you don't even notice it so I don't think that's a negative. That being said, I would be a hypocrite if I didn't say I don't like it because I don't like any pieces that are unshaderable. I just think it lack it. It stifles uh, creativity a lot of the times, so that's why I don't like it. As for the example set, this is my Mongolian look. I love this set a lot just because it's really cool. So this this is the problem with this look though. The helmet and the arms are definitely like placeholders because I'm not the biggest fan of them. That being said, I think Iron Pledge uh, ornament does look better than the helmet. The helmet just is straight up out there. And I definitely do think the helmet is the weakest portion. That being said, you could definitely use the, the new Monarchy helmet just because it does have a like fur at the top, which I think would look really cool with this set. It's just that this is a set that I usually go for. For the helmet for Forbidden Visage Helm, Iron Pledge ornament, like I already said, the chest piece obviously is Curious of the Fallen Star. And this is where the whole look becomes Mongolian for me. Unsight, Insight Unyielding Graves is what I'm using with the Legatus Mark. I think these two pieces really give that feeling of like a Mongolian look. That being said, I don't know. It might be some other culture that I'm thinking of. But for me, like when I saw the boots, I immediately was like, man, this reminds me of a Mongolian look for some reason. I don't know why um, it just be like that. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. I mean, respectfully, please don't call me an asshole or anything. I'm not trying to be like disrespectful or anything. But that's the first thought that I had when I saw the whole set, specifically the Insight Unyielding Greaves. The whole thing just kind of reminded me of like a Mongolian armor, like a futuristic Mongolian armor look, which is why I went with that. But overall, I really like this. The shader is Precursor X Chrome, and I should probably explain this. The reason I'm using this shader is because it, it, Insight Unyielding Greaves take shaders really terribly, like absolutely trash. And I 
had to use Precursor X Chrome because it really combines everything really uniformly. But just be aware that if you do take this look, un inside Unyielding Greaves take shaders really, really terribly, and you're gonna have to find a like a workaround for it. But I do think Re Precursor X Chrome looks really, really good with it. For the first ornament, we're gonna be looking at Comet Stir and Dream. This is one of my favorite ornaments in the game. That being said, there are big problems with this, which you guys will see when it comes to shadering. But aesthetically and design wise, I think this is one of the coolest ornaments in the game. And the cool thing is this ornament actually got um, a legendary piece for it with the helmet, which also looks really cool. It's just unfortunate that it shaders really bad. So let's talk about it. So Ancient Wisdom is a good example because Ancient Wisdom does not have red. It does not have red in there at all. This is not even an off color. I think this is more of a like a color got inverted because you'll see this a lot in most shaders that uh, the color wheel, the, the color inside the actual chest piece is not in the color wheel at all. Not even the off colors because they're, the off color for this is like gold and what was it like a lighter gold almost like like a really like mm, i don't know it's hard to like like a really light gold and i mean light light so ancient wisdom does not have red the funny thing though is echoed anger looks really really good with it like that's the thing is some shaders will look so good with this chest piece and other shaders will look terrible with it cool thing is Bissonian uh, gold also looks really really cool with it i just don't like Bissonian gold for the fact that the plate armor is black or brown that's the only reason but the other funny thing is the fact that cryptic insignia actually looks really really good with it as well so again it's not the fact that oh maybe ancient wisdom is just a weird like one-off no no i've i've shaded this with quite a bit of different shaders and most of the time it shaders really terribly and i mean specifically mean the plate armor in the in inside just takes colors weird like i said uh Ancient Wisdom is like the per most perfect example because that red is nowhere to be found in that shader. Never have I seen red in that shader. So I just really need to make sure you guys understand this because it's really annoying. As for the example set, I ended up going with my majestic look. This is a newish look. I mean, I made it this season, but it does look really, really cool. And it is using some new pieces that I haven't used before. So. For the helmet, Sunstead Helm is what I'm using just because I love this helmet, especially when I go for like a majestic look. I think this helmet is super dope. For the arms, Unyielding Favor Gauntlets is what I'm using because A, it's symmetrical, and B, it has blue uh, like stones in there. And I'm using Horfrost Sunrise, which I thought the blue was just going to make enhance it a little bit more. Speaking of which, uh, Horfrost Sunrise has a really good blue inside the plate armor. Uh, and that's why I'm using it. Horfrost is such a good shader for that. And it just looks super majestic as well. For the boots, Nightly Noir Greaves is what I'm using just because I love these boots. So they're symmetrical and they don't take away too much attention from the top, which I think is the most attention I want to have. And then Dendrite Shimmer Mark because I wanted a little bit of bougie at the bottom. I didn't want it to be super duper boring. And Dendrite Shimmer is just a good choice for that. Uh, that being said, I mean, the glow doesn't bug me that much, but I know people would get bugged by that. But either way, let me know what you guys think about this one. I definitely really like this set just because it is the one that I use uh, as my build now. It used to be the Mongolian look, but I kind of got bored of it. So I switched out to this one. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. As for the last ornament, it's going to be Terminus Emissary. And I am kicking myself be because I, I, I didn't pick this up. Uh, you guys will notice that I'm actually showcasing this in the cut, cut character customization screen because I don't have this and I kind of regret not picking this up because the example set that I made looks so fucking cool. So I actually do think it looks really cool now. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Probably because I was like, ah, it doesn't look that good and I kind of don't want to waste the bright dust on this, which is valid considering that's something I would definitely say, but it kills me because this this ornament looks so cool now that I'm actually looking at it. The only negative I can say is that the main chest plate in the front actually takes the off color. So as you guys can see from, from Ancient Wisdom, yeah, it's, you're gonna see that like copper off color, which is very unfortunate because if it was the main color, I think this would have been super, super cool. Same thing for Echoed Anger. You guys will see that the blue steel is actually the main color, which is not the case. Blue steel is usually the off color. Not saying that I'm like mad or anything, but it's just, it's an unfortunate thing because I would have liked it if it wasn't 
like that because uh it just means i have to like think about the off color now which is kind of annoying that being said it actually does look pretty cool with abyssinian gold considering the main plate color is bl black and then the off color or not the off color but the main color <laughs> Again, I'm confusing myself. The black color is the off color, and then the main color is that brown right there. So I do think this looks really, really cool. That being said, I am noticing that the side skirts on the chest piece is not shadering as well as I would have hoped, but I don't think that's the biggest deal considering like I just noticed that now. I also don't use this exotic quite a bit or this ornament quite a bit. It actually looks really, really cool with cryptic insignia so i probably would just combine it with cryptic insignia just because yeah it looks really cool with the cryptic insignia let me know what shader you like the most but i definitely think this is worth a pickup unfortunately i just didn't realize that at the moment as for the example set here it is i definitely think i was cooking just because it looks really really cool this one i'm going for a rocket man type look and what i mean by rocket man i specifically mean there's like this old rocketeer like cartoon or tv show i don't remember what it's called there's a game on it too but i just don't remember what the actual term is called but the reason i went for that is because a that chess piece has that like old timey wimey technology and the helmet the lustrous chromite helm is immediately i was like man i'm gonna use that helmet it's gonna look so fucking cool with it and i was right it looks super cool with it for the obviously the chess piece terminus emissary for the arms hardened basilisk is what i'm using if i'm being quite honest you can definitely use something else but i do think you need to use something that has like a mechanical look to it to make it look good which is why i like i don't hate the hardened basilisk gauntlets it looks cool with it um i don't know it's just sometimes i'm like i could use something better and that's the thing that hate that i hate that in my head i'm like i could use something better for the boots, Cyanite Strangler Greaves is what I'm using because I think it looks really good with everything else. And then for the Mark Moonfang X7 Mark is what I'm using because I didn't want anything too crazy in the front and I didn't mind anything in the back. For the shader, Omnicronia is what we're using because so many off colors in this set. Cyanite Strangler Greaves is iconic for taking shaders really, really terribly. And Hardened Basilisk Gauntlet is also, no, not, I'm sorry, not that one. Terminus Emissary, obviously the chest piece. We were just talking about it. The main plate chest piece in the front takes off colors. So, I mean, if you want to lean into it, you can, but my main focus was I want to have the pauldrons and the main chest plate, like the, the middle one, have the same color because then in, in, my, in my eyes, it looks like really uniform. So I am actually really proud of this one like really really proud to the point where i'm actually just thinking about buying the terminus emissary ornament just because again just to, kind of to like punish myself for not picking it up because i just it looks so cool so titans let me know what you guys think i really think this one is really really good let me know what you guys think again if you guys want to see a certain exotic let me know in the comments below and i'll hopefully get started on it but be safe i will see you guys later